here. It is time for the great one to do another reaction. The first 16 minutes of gameplay from Gotham Knights. Hi, J-Rock has come back to you too. What is happening in 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 with the millions <laughs> and millions of J Rock fans from all over the world? Baby J Rock is here, man. We're about to check out the first 16 minutes of gameplay from Gotham Knights. It's showtime. iGEM 1st for August is Gotham Knights, and we're kicking it off with the first minutes of gameplay. This section follows the prologue, which WB Montreal is still keeping secret, and will be the first time you take control of a character. After picking which knights you want to play as, this section serves to tutorialise some of the game's basic traversal and combat mechanics, as well as introduce you to the wider mystery taking place in Gotham following the death of Batman. Enjoy! You want to break into the GCPD headquarters for a what if? Be my guest. I decrypted the case Batman sent with his message. We should focus on that. I looked it over. Barbara. But did I get everything? It doesn't look complete. He says this has implications that could shake Gotham to his core. Ominous, but not exactly helpful. Red Hood. I saw a few places we should poke around. Construction sites, the quarry. He also mentioned a Dr. Langstrom. Anyone know him? He's a zoologist at Gotham University. Not sure what his connection is, though. Let's divide up the work. We can meet at the Belfry when we're done. Get it up and running. Who gets to talk to Langstrom? Dick Gotham you. What do we know so far about this professor? Kirk Langstrom. Judging by the half-finished file with the code black, Batman was digging into a hardcore. Then I'll pick up where Batman left off. J-Rock has some reservations about the game. Still gonna play it though. Because while it may look a certain way, it may feel a certain way when you play it. So we got a positive idea on this faculty dude, Kirk Langstrom. Right, I'll call it in on the way to the morgue. Langstrom's dead. Do we know where his office is? Seriously? Crap. Well, our notes had his office on the third floor of Molson Hall. Got it. Righty then. Third floor balconies open. Don't mind if I do. 
Body cam recording. Huh. Court of Owls. Here's his office. Hmm, hardly any police work here. Langstrom must have been killed somewhere else. Those marks look fresh. is very dead. I'll let you know when I find the crime scene. Good. Well, not good exactly, but at least elite. The real challenge will be getting out of here without the cops finding me. Good luck. That's a lot of damage. This must be where Langstrom died. The cops cleared out of here way too fast. Langstrom must have been working when he was attacked. Significant blood loss here. Evidence of a struggle, then the attacker pinned him to the wall. They were merciless. Langstrom was dying. But he tried to get to that cabinet instead of the door. What was so important? A hidden door. What secrets were you keeping, Dr. Langstrom? A thermostat would be a clever place to hide a keypad. A microwave. I hope Langstrom wasn't combining burritos with genetic specimens. Langstrom made sure to remember those dates. I should too. A phone number, but that's not a Gotham area code. Could be useful. Hmm. Time to see what Langstrom was so desperate to hide. Uh huh. Took some of that uh, Batman Telltale series where you connect different clues together. Okay. Langstrom, what on earth were you up to? Batman's dead professor had some serious skeletons in his closet. Langstrom's workstation. I should take a closer look. Well, hello there. A hard drive. I need to get this back to Belfry. Then I can figure out your secrets, Langstrom. Hey, on my way back. The cops overlooked a ton of evidence. Weird marks on the walls, and apparently Langstrom had a secret lab. Hopefully this hard drive I found will have more answers. Great. 
Great. needs to see that someone still cares. I'll take care of this. J-Rock ain't liking what he's saying with the combat. I'm just gonna be honest with you. In this place with all that One of the things J-Rock said was made the awesome game the staple was set it apart from all different video games, the superhero games, was the combat. I need to handle the blocking, this the before this gets any worse. They just took all that out. Take you down. deserve a break. That's one of the reasons I love the arc game, because of the combat. Now I don't have an incentive to fight the now. Just break takedown. Like between 424 and 475 Fahrenheit. Hmm? Ah. Uh. Uh. Hey, look up here. Maybe you got to unlock parry on the steel tree, maybe. I don't know. That's a nice takedown, though. I can probably stay out of sight here. Got the fumes getting to you, buddy? <laughs> smashy, smashy, smash, smash! Smashy! <laughs> You burn now, grass. No one will mow you ever again. What are they even doing here? Building down. Hostages. I need to hurry. Can anyone hear me? Help! They won't let us go. Do you what? Oh. Yeah. You knew how this was gonna end! Wait, I saw a circle around me. What, see how the circle? Does that mean you can parry? I hope that there's some blocking or parrying and it's not just dodging. J 
why I can't feel in the combat. Is this Rudy Poo? Looking forward to kicking back and decrypting this hard drive. Be there soon. J Rock says this. Um, not feel. J Rock ain't feeling the combat. I'm not feeling the combat at all. Just the punching and the heavy attacks and the dodging doesn't feel very superhero. Re to the great one. Uh, one of the things Jay Rock said earlier, what set the Arkham games apart was the combat. And so you stripped that out of the game, you basically stripped it what, make, what made it unique. Even though there's been a bunch of them, each game felt different because it was a different game. Now they've stripped all of that away, trying to go in a different direction. Jay Rock understands that, but there are some core mechanics you just have to keep. And the com Arkham combat with the countering, uh, being able to vault over your... And who knows? J-Rock says, maybe there are some things you can unlock along the way. Right? And so... But if this is all you get, punching, kicking, countering, I mean, and just dodging, no. J-Rock is going to do that. J-Rock is still going to play the game, but I ain't feeling the combat at all. Not even a little bit. So basic. Uh, but I don't know. We'll I'll check it out and see. J Rock wonders, just wonders what what happened, what changed. Like you you go and look back at E3, and you look at the games when the reveal trailer was uh, put out a few a few months back, right? Or was it last year? Oh, it doesn't matter when it was. J Rock says it was. The reveal trailer for it looks so crisp and fluid. I mean, the combat even looked better than it does now. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm, I'm, J Rock is concerned about Gotham Knights. Still check it out because it might feel different when you play it. Get it in your hands. We gotta wait and see. Now, what say you? What you think about the game? Post your comments down below. Let J Rock know just what you thought of his reaction to this. Video, no rhyme intended on that line. If you enjoyed the great one's reaction, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Be sure to hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thanks for joining J Rock. Stay tuned for my next video. Mamba, GG, and Wakanda forever. If you smell loud, but J Rock is cooking.